for people to be in the church. It's more important to me for the church to be connected to real world issues. You I can't be a Creflo Joe Dollar Olstein. Christian. You can't be saying God wants you to be rich. God, I want me to have a private jet. The Bible says that. For them to drive a private jet, that you should live in abundance. Right, but the question is, abundance what is abundance? Is, what is abundance though? Like? Is abundance <laughs> having a house or is abundance having happiness uh, and good and, health? And, and, or is abundance having Okay. So yeah. So so basically what he was saying was like he had a problem with the church not kind of like what the atheist person was saying like like a couple weeks ago when he was talking about the, that the church should be doing more in the community instead of just taking from the from the community. So I think I got to forgive Mark Lamont Hill cuz I don't really like him. Um, <laughs> he said some crazy stuff in the um in the the what's it called Freaknik video that I saw. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like what are you talking about, man? Um, Giving people passes. I'm like what? He uh, grabbed her, but now I mean what? <laughs> yeah, like what are you talking? About? He grabbed her, but he's an impression too. Just like an apologist for like <laughs> sin. Um, but anyway, uh, he's not necessarily wrong about. He <laughs> probably live here too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's not necessarily wrong I mean some of the pastors are wilding out yeah, yeah right I mean they're wilding out and preaching a gospel that makes them rich that's true mm -hmm. is that his only point like I didn't get no I, no he was he was saying that he wanted more from the church but my problem with that is the church is not I, I don't think the church is your personal genie for it just because it's in a community that it got to do everything you wanted to do Oh, so he's he's basically trying to get them to be more involved in community yeah, stuff. I'm yeah. saying instead of okay, buying jets, do more for the community. And I get that yeah, part, yeah. Mm -hmm. but at the same time, just because the community, the people could come to the to church from your community and you can help them, but at the same time, we're not the church is not the like quote unquote the government. In, in that <sighs> I don't think so. I I, I kind of can understand where they're coming from from this aspect, like. You, and not to offend anybody who goes to world change or not disrespect anybody, but if you see world changes, you see that church, right? Nice church, yeah. nice facility, everything. Creflo seemed to be doing well. Yeah. Come out the parking lot and go, <laughs> and go down Old National. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, uh, it's chaos, and, and I can't say the church is responsible for everything over there, but it's like, okay, are we doing anything to reach that? And I don't know. People who go there may know better than me, but are we doing oh, anything to reach that community yeah. at all in a but, positive way? But how do you do that if in your community you have people that don't believe in Jesus? So if I'm telling you Jesus can set you free from whatever you're dealing with and you're like, man, forget that church stuff. That's yeah. when the practical stuff comes in. Yeah. I can say, hey. S serve their needs. Yeah. yeah, I can say, man, God loves you. He cares for you. Or I can say that to you while I'm giving you a sandwich. Yeah. Which yeah, be more, you know, no, no, shout, no, shout out, shout out to the church out here. We're, 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 you know, mm -hmm. we're, should I say, we're, we're in Greenbrier <laughs> area, right? And, um, and there's a church out here giving out free gas and, yeah. and talking to people. Backing up traffic. That's the kind of say backing up traffic. I was able to get around. But, um, it was, it was, a, I've never seen that people giving yeah. out free gas. That's crazy. Um, so just, just $10. like. Uh, ten dollars. <laughs> what kind of car you got? Um, so that's what they give it up. They're only giving out ten dollars. <laughs> I was like, what? Hey, I can't even get. That. Hey. I wouldn't even make it from the station to here. They gave you for Paul seven to Paul eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but they were they were out there giving out free gas and talking to people. That's the kind of stuff I, I think is what he's saying. He wants more of. I suspect he's saying he wants more people helping get certain people elected. That's what yeah, I'm afraid that too, of. Probably. But um, but actually, yeah, it's it's nice to see churches out actually visible yeah. outside of the building. That's yeah. that's a that's I, and, a good. And like I said, I have no problem with churches impacting their community because that's the great commission like right. that's the you know spreading the word you spread the word so many ways you can tell people about jesus and you can mm -hmm. give the action of jesus but at the same time the church is not um like i i think i think it, sometimes people think the community could just come to the church and the church give them whatever they need and yeah. then you know what i'm saying like at the same time the church got to have wisdom about who they give stuff to you can give stuff at times but then also you got to help people yeah you know what i mean i tell people like when people when christ was healing people everybody who came didn't get healed mm. like he would heal some people and then 
you'll dip out. And everybody didn't get healed that time. So I kind of look at it almost like the church. We can help some people, but we can't help everybody. I think the church comprised of people in that community, in that environment. When you yeah. go to church and you learn about what Christ did and how he helped people, I think it's more so the responsibility of people within that community to go out who live here day to day and see what's going on to get out here and try to impact some type of change. Yeah. But the pastor is the main figure when you think about the church. So automatically they're going to get the blame for things yeah. that are not being done. And then also I remember hearing somebody saying that, um, I remember seeing a pastor preach about like how somebody in this congregation was like, y'all didn't teach me how to balance my checkbook. And he's like, that's not our responsibility. <laughs> how to do life skills. That's But we need, it, but maybe it's needed. You we know need what I'm saying? Maybe it's needed. So the poll now, I missed the last one, sorry, Crispy, but this one is, do you think the church can do a better job helping their community? So the options were definitely can do more. The bigger ones need to do better. Churches are doing fine or not the church's responsibility. Overwhelmingly, definitely can do more was the winner. So he wasn't wrong. So I got to sometimes when you, you hear a message from somebody, you just like mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't take it in. So I'm like, I'm yeah. trying to do better with that. It's the messenger sometimes. <laughs> just throw you trying up. to do better with that. So good. Good job.